Hi, it's Twynham Cunningham here. Um, I'm applying for the uh, casual assistant customer position at Dan Murphy's. And uh, I've been asked to uh, come along to this interview and answer a few questions. The first question I've been given to answer is, um, how, how have you dealt with a mistake and, and what did you learn by it? Well, I always say, we all make mistakes. And um, I think the thing is, when you have made a mistake, take a deep breath, face up to it. Don't, certainly don't try and hide it. And um, take the bull by the horns and deal with it. Um, you're going to have to be honest about it. You're going to have to tell the boss. And uh, he or she, you know, might have to cop the wrath from them. but. Um, I think, uh, as I said, honesty is the best policy. But what I have learned over the years with, uh, you know, when you do make a mistake is um, when you've resolved it, it's a really good idea to make a bit of a, either a mental note or write, it, I tend to write it down, you know, something that's gone wrong and, and how you resolved it. And... Uh, that sort of stores in your memory forever then. And the one thing you just don't want is for that to happen again. Uh, and and uh, I find that uh, if you make a few notes on it, it, it generally doesn't. The second uh, question is um, what uh, you, your approach is to working in a team environment. Well. I personally think you get more done in a team environment than you do in uh, any other way. I I've always said one individual working by themselves does the amount of one worker, but you get two people working together, and you get the amount you get the work done of three, and and even more people working in it's 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 exponential. And the other wonderful thing about working in a team is um, there's always ideas coming out of everywhere from everyone. And, I mean, I don't care whose idea it is. It's wonderful to have them all shared. As far as my role in, in a team, um, I've always very been very happy to uh, let people get on with their roles. And um, invariably, my role tends to be to, to fill in the gaps. And I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, it, it's all part of the team, how the team works. The third question is, what qualities do you think you have that will make your, you successful in this position and how you demonstrate these qualities? Well, I said uh, in my resume, uh, I'm outgoing. Have a sense of humour, honest and reliable, diligent, flexible. And again, uh, I'm a team player. I, most of my um, life has been spent working as a farmer, and uh, one thing we do in the farming business from time to time is having to deal with a crisis. And uh, I always say, you know, so long as you're still alive and reasonably able, you just manage your way through it. And uh, no point being stressed about it. And having a sense of humour certainly helps. And um, you just you just get through it. I would, speaking of me working, I, I would be mortified if anybody thought that I wasn't pulling my weight in, in any aspect of, of my job. Um, so that's that's how I see that. Now my question to you is, I mean, I would really love this job, and I, I would like to know what I could do to further my chances of getting this job. I've actually said in my uh, covering letter that uh, I'm more than happy to go and do training if it makes me more useful to you and uh, I would be 
more than happy to work for a month for you for gratis, just so that you can get a bit of an idea of uh, how useful I could be. Um, I know we all like to be paid, but, uh, you know, for somebody my stage in life, um, money's not everything. Satisfaction with work is probably more important. Interacting with people is more important. And, uh, you know, I, I would very much value being uh, a, a, a useful member of a team. So they, they're probably my priorities. So uh, I hope you uh, have had a good look at my resume and, and uh, read my covering letter. And uh, I, I sincerely, we get to chat again. Uh, I, would, I would love to come on board in your team. So thank you very much.